Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this series of videos, we are working on uh, all these labs that are for Microsoft 900 certification, that is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. And these series of labs that are available on the GitHub and I'm going to give you the link to the lab resource. We have already created nine separate videos for all these labs. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to create a VM with PowerShell. In the last one, we used a template to do the same thing. So let's look at the lab and let's get started. So configure the cloud cell. So if you uh, go to Azure and click on this tiny little button, it will open up a cloud cell for you. And if it's for the for first time, it's going to ask you to configure and create a storage. Create the storage and you're good to go. So how do you create a resource group using PowerShell? It's very easy. New AZ for Azure resource group. Then you're providing the name. That's going to be the your name of your resource group. And you provide the location. East US is my favorite location, so I'm going to use that. And verify your new resource group. So let's start copying this command and start saving it. Let's see. Okay, and uh, verify your new resource group will do the next command. Okay, and then to create a new Azure virtual machine, we are going to run this particular command over here. What are you doing? You're saying new AZVM is the main parcel command. You're going to provide the resource group name and you're going to provide the resource group that you have created. Name of the VM, location, virtual network name, subnet name, security group name, and public IP address name. And it will create the VM for you. And uh, in the Azure portal, once this is done, we should be able to see a virtual machine is available to us. And uh, what it should be running and all of that stuff and then uh, execute commands in cloud shell uh, what we can do we can also check the availability of the vm we can look uh, instead of looking at the status of the machine we can run some more commands within the PowerShell. get easy vm so that's going to get the virtual machine stats and uh, what we're going to do, name we're going to provide, what's the status, then we're, we're going to format table, uh, auto size this output, we're going to format it as a table. Now, another two really useful uh, commands to stop is if you, if you ever need to stop a virtual machine, uh, you can use that command, okay, stop is a VM, put the resource group name and the name of the VM, and to and, and then check check again okay and check the status again so I don't need the command and to restart uh, just start as VM will uh, restart your machine and uh, once you have deployed you can also look at the recommendation for uh, that virtual machine from the ad advisor so uh, we'll see if we can get to uh, this portion of the video sometimes it takes a little bit of time to deploy the machine so i think uh, we have a good understanding of what we're going to do so let's get started so here this is where you want you want to cl uh, click to get to the uh, cloud shell so it's requesting just give it a second and it's going to give you the cloud uh, shell experience and it's a very powerful feature from microsoft and let's see if we can start writing some commands. So we are there. So we have pretty much uh, completed the task one, configure the cloud cell because it's already done for us. Uh, so let's create a resource group by running that command. And uh, where are we? We are here. So new is the Re resource 
I'm actually typing I'm not pasting okay so new is a resource group and I want to provide name and I'm using the tab complete name and they're asking to use my RGPS my RGPS and then location so as location is I'm gonna say east US so that's where I want to deploy my resource group and see uh, it's saying that my deployment is successful and what you can do you can uh, do a uh, get easy resource group and it should give you the status of the resource group okay so look how cool these comments are okay so let's go back so we created this now uh, you can also look at the uh, output of this resource group in a table format by running this so so what it did let me clear it out sometimes it happens to me and if it happens alright so what you have right now it's uh, now uh, this get az resource group is giving all of the resource group that I have in my deployment and it's giving you as uh, as a table okay uh, and to deploy the virtual machine I'm just gonna copy this one and uh, just paste over here so again it's gonna deploy a new virtual machine we want a public IP you know name is we're gonna provide uh, deploy in the East US it's gonna create a virtual network naming my vnet ps subnet my subnet ps security group name my nsgps and public ip is my this is my p i think i have not copied it properly it should be my public ip ps so let's fix that let's come at the it's not letting me do anything was okay so I just hit enter it's asking for the username uh, what what I'll do I'll actually refresh this because you guys cannot uh, see this command so sometimes you see the overlaps of these uh, commands if that happens uh, I'm using Ubuntu I have noticed that time to time that it happens to me and once I refresh it and get a new cloud shell this problem usually goes away so I'm going to run this command one more time okay and now I have it's asking for this still looks like it's giving me uh, overlapping type stuff and let's see what it's stealing us it's telling us we should provide the username as as your user and the password we're going to provide is this okay so now it should deploy my machine and as you see it's saying creating the Azure resource so I'm going to give it a minute for this deployment to be done and as soon as this is done we're going to come back and uh, we're going to look at from the portal we'll go into the resource group and take a look at uh, the deployment of this machine alright it's been a few minutes so uh, let's see if the deployment is done so first let's look at the Azure portal so first thing that I see in the Azure portal I already have the my RGPS resource group and in my command we use this resource group to deploy so if I go in there I am expect I expect to see the virtual machine and all of the associated resources in there so let's take a look yeah it looks like everything is good and it says uh, it says no deployment it's actually not true we have this deployment in this resource group uh, we have the my MVPS that uh, virtual machine it's got the IPs, NSGs, uh, the network interface card, a disk and the virtual net and if I click on this machine over here it should tell me that it's running here's my IP address and here are all the details now let's go back to the lab so we have just checked this status like 5 and 6 and uh, access the new virtual machine and review overview and networking setting to verify information was correctly deployed so we, are, we just did that uh, so if you want to get more details about this virtual machine as I said you can come over here 
let's make it bigger again and I can paste this uh, status for the virtual machine and format is uh, format as a table so what it's telling me is telling me in this resource group this is the name of the virtual machine It's deployed in East US that's the VM size operating system is Windows that's the name of the new interface card provisioning is succeeded and uh, the VM is running so that's wonderful that's we also verify from our Azure portal and to stop the virtual machine let's click uh, just run this command that we said is very useful and let's also look over here what I'm gonna do here it says running over here in the portal as well so look see what happens when I run this command okay it's asking should we do you know go ahead and stop the machine I said yeah stop it and let's see how long it takes to stop a virtual machine All right, it must be starting the shutdown. So I'm expecting this to change automatically, but I don't know if it will change automatically or we'll have we'll, we'll have to do a, a refresh on it. Some items I see when I do this, it automatically uh, you know updates itself. Some others um, we we have to refresh. Usually, it doesn't take that long to. To stop but it's, it's trying to stop yeah now it says uh, it succeeded and see that this status is still says uh, running so that must be a wrong status to prove that let's get the uh, status of this machine using my uh, uh, using our command again and you can see over here the command is saying that machine is deallocated that means it is not running that means uh, we can refresh this and say um, leaf page and that one now should tell me even on the portal that this virtual machine has stopped and look at that all right so as I said some it will automatically refresh get refreshed and others you have to just go and go through a hard refresh so now we have done all of that and the uh, review as your advisor recommendation let's see uh, for virtual machine you should have uh, the advisor if you don't see it quickly a lot of time I just gonna type the advisor advisor recommendation so uh, I'm gonna go there and what what I'll do right now there is nothing so let's start let's uh, restart the virtual machine okay and to do that uh, let's run our powershell command again uh, so instead of stop what we'll do we're gonna do a start okay so let's see if that command uh, can restart our virtual machine so we are doing that uh, while this getting started now let's take a look at the uh, Azure recommendation and see if, if uh, the advisor got any recommendation for us or not and uh, where is my recommendation it's right there so it's under settings and then advisor recommendation now if you just uh, created you may not have any recommendation so right now it looks like I don't have any recommendation for this right zero uh, create a recommendation digest to get periodic summary of your recommendation I have not done that but you can do something like that uh, to get uh, periodically a digest for uh, uh, recommendation for this particular VM uh, and as I said once you created a virtual machine let it run for a while so advisor will periodically look at the configuration and give you recommendation based on the setting uh, since we have just created this machine it will probably take some time so let's just look at the lab so uh, advisor it usually uh, gives you recommendation on three or four different areas for virtual machines for high availability security performance and cost uh, so if it if it believes that you can uh, maybe not using your virtual machine to its best possible capacity it will say 
hey, either go to maybe a lower uh, size where you're going to save uh, more money uh, for security-wise if you don't have NAC properly set up or if you have ports open that you should not. If you do not have agents installed like that, you will get security alerts. And also, for high availability, if it feels like this uh, virtual machine needs to be uh, highly available, it will also give you recommendation and you can review this recommendation from here. The same recommendation will also appear under the security center and you can take actions on those. Okay, and if you look at and go into all recommendation, uh, for example, this is some of the recommendation that uh, they are showing for this particular virtual machine. Uh, monitoring agent, as I said, that is a common one uh, that you should install so that the agent can send information back to the security center. Uh, just in time network access, uh, we'll probably look at it um, uh, later on. This is also important. So uh, how to do that, that if you enable that, that makes your virtual machine all, a lot secure. Uh, sometimes just a system update. Uh, sensitive data in your SQL database should be classified. So that's also another great suggestion for you. And uh, the vulnerabilities in SQL can be remediated. So there is some, this is preview. So this is uh, still in preview. At that time, they have captured the screenshot. So you get a lot of good recommendation. Anyway, for this lab, uh, we got comfortable running uh, our command. That was the main purpose of the lab. And we have used several of these commands to uh, create a resource group, uh, look at the resource group in a table format, creating a virtual machine, and then get the details of the virtual machine, stopping a virtual machine, and starting the machine as well. All right, right here I'm going to end this video. Uh, if you're studying for the exam, good luck. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comment, and I really value your comments a lot. Um, and again, good luck for the exam.